I'm all pumped up by this little gadget I got in the mail the other day. Why, you ask? Well, let me explain as we jump into it. Welcome to this episode of DIY3DTech.com. In this episode, I want to share with you this pump that I picked up for my K40 CO2 laser, but more so the 3D printed mounts that I'll have out on Thingiverse for it to mount it to the actual laser. So as I'm getting back into using the K40, because I've got a proper shop now and not in my basement and all the fumes and stuff, I was looking for a better solution to cool it. So as you may or may not be aware, the K40 laser comes with this cheap Chinese pump that you know uses 120 or 220 volts, depending on where you're at in the world. And you drop this in a bucket of water and you're supposed to feel safe about it. Well, I didn't. So I went looking for a bit of a solution and this is it. So this is a 12 volt DC powered pump uh, that moves about 1.5 to roughly 2 liters of water a minute, which should be adequate for general K40 usage. Remember, we're basically just cooling a 40 watt light bulb. With that, I needed a way to mount this to the K40 laser itself because this will actually be powered from the K40's power supply. So when I turn on the K40, this pump will run. Now, I'll do more on the actual installation of this in a future video. More so, I wanted to share the mounting bracket and solution I came up with here for the pump mechanism. So it came with these black uh, silicone um, mounts, which are basically worthless. It's got this weird tab here, and even if I cut it off, it's so flimsy that the pump just flops around. So I needed to come up with a better solution, so I turned it to 3D printing and Fusion 360 to design these brackets. I printed these out of TPU, and I spec them to mount on the collar, which mounts over the motor. Now, I'm not sure exactly why they put these collars over DC motors. If you know, put in the comments down below. Is it EMI? Is it just cooling like a heat sink? I'm not really sure. But anyways, I left it on there and I designed this. So when I put this up on Thingiverse, I'm going to put two versions, a large and a small, one for the collar version, one for the motor. So if you don't want to use the collar for some reason, you don't have to. But if you want to use the collar, there it is. Now, I grouped two of these together. So... I just printed two of them and so I'll have four mounting bolts which will attach these to the K40 back of the K40 laser and then I'll just run power back here. So kind of long and, and short of it for 10 bucks I got a neat safer hopefully solution to my K40 cooling problem. So hopefully if you found this interesting you'll give it a big thumbs up. I'll have links to this pump and a couple hybrid versions of it down below. Uh, if you don't want to hook it into the K40 laser there's another version that comes with a 12 volt power supply that you could plug into your K40 laser also. So the choice is yours in that case. And again I'll have links down below. I also have links to the Thingiverse uh, STLs for this and I'll also throw up the Fusion 360 file so if you want to make some changes hey feel free. Anyways, again, big thumbs up, like and subscribe, swag shop up there. And we'll see you guys in the next video where we do some other cool things. Cheers. Please click like below and subscribe.